President Al-Assad states that the humanitarian file represents the uppermost among state priorities, emphasizing the importance to exert efforts from all bodies concerned. The Syrian Arab Army units tightened patrol over Tel Halab to the west of Sheikh Najjar industrial city and advanced in Mleha in Damascus countryside. Damascus countryside branch for Vanguard's held childhood festival in Nabik with the participant of a number of officials. Welcome to News Bulletin. I'm Dalia Nizam. The spokesman for the Supreme Constitutional Court, Majid Khadra, asserted that the court has accepted the candidacy applications for the post of president of the Syrian Arab Republic submitted by Mahir Abdel Hafiz Hajjar, Hassan Abdullah Nouri, and Bashar Hafiz Al Assad. The court spokesman pointed out that those whose candidacy applications were rejected have the right to appeal for the Constitutional Court within three days, starting from Monday, the 5th of May, until Wednesday, May the 7th. President Bashar al-Assad underlined the significance of the humanitarian file as it is a top priority for the Syrian state. During his meeting with members of the Higher Committee for Relief, President al-Assad underlined the necessity of doubling efforts of bodies in charge of the humanitarian file, mobilizing all potentials and making optimal use of resources for catering to the needs of all citizens who have been driven out of their homes due to terrorist crimes. The President added the Syrian state is responsible for every Syrian citizen, not least those in areas to where they fled due to terrorist acts, but also in areas blockaded by terrorists. President Assad said the concerned ministries and bodies are exerting immense efforts in this regard and have managed in several instances to get civilians out of besieged areas, relocating them to makeshift residential centers. The president stressed the importance of cooperation between ministries and bodies working in the humanitarian sphere, citing the need for the delivery of assistance to all citizens without delay. President Assad emphasized the importance of continuing work with all bodies concerned in the humanitarian file, with stress put on keeping national sovereignty intact. President Assad said that the ultimate goal in getting is getting every displaced Syrian citizen to return to his house safe and sound. For his part, Prime Minister Wa'il Halaq, he said the government is keen to provide all requirements pertaining to the humanitarian file and iron out difficulties hindering it. Minister of Social Affairs Kinder Shamad said that overcoming routine will help expedite the committee's work, adding that the armed groups are the major obstacle hindering the work of aid convoys. Meeting the needs of the citizens has become the main concern of the authorities in the current circumstances. So, many civil organizations have been established in different parts of the country, particularly to take care of the displaced people. The youth charity organization in Dumar is concerned in providing medical and food assistance as well as care for the orphans and the people with special needs. Up till now, 4,800 families have registered to benefit from this association. In this youth organization, there are many departments. Ours is specialized in relief, that is, distributing anything needed to the citizens in addition to the food parcels each 40 or 50 days. We provide assistance for 2,400 families out of 4,800 registered ones each month. We are in the orphanage center. We recently opened this center by the help of the Ministry of Social Affairs. We provide services and monthly salaries for the orphans. Each child takes 2,000 Syrian pounds per month in addition to free medical care and education as well as clothes and recreational activities. In this center, everything is available, uh, medicine and doctors. I would like to send a message to all those who are displaced out of the country, telling them, come back because you won't find better than your country, despite uh, what happened here. Everything is available. 
I will talking about medical center of Shabab Charity. Uh, we have got a different specialist uh, cleaning, uh, kidney wash, uh, X-ray, emergency department have to working uh, 24 hours. Uh, we giving all the beds all for all people around Mar in the charity. We have in this center different uh, dental treatments such as uh, orthodontics, ma maxifacial uh, surgery, very dental, endo, all of, the, all of this in uh, low prices, which is 50% uh, comparing with uh, any uh, uh, dental office. The Department of Family Affairs in this association takes care of the families in Dumar and the poor ones who apply for assistance. We visit their houses and provide the needed help. The organization provides assistance for the refugees and those who were displaced, taking sanctuary here in this secure area. There are many departments, the medical, the educational, the services, and the one concerned in helping people with special needs. The organization with its officials and volunteers works in coordination with the Red Crescent and the Ministry of Social Affairs. Ministry of Health launched the sixth national anti-polio vaccination campaign targeting children under five. The campaign is carried out through health centers and mobile medical clinics and teams all across the provinces. The sixth vaccination campaign is one of a series of immunization campaigns that have been launched since last December after several polio cases were detected in Deir ez-Zor, Damascus countryside and Aleppo. In Damascus countryside, the Syrian Arab army units have killed and injured all members of terrorist groups in a series of qualitative operations in eastern Ghouta and other towns. The terrorists' dens have also been destroyed in the vicinity of the municipality building in the Mleha area and near Panda factory for ice cream. Other army units have carried out many operations in Zebdin and Dar al-Safir villages in Ain Tarma Valley, killing or injuring an, a big number of terrorists and destroying their weapons and ammunition. In Aleppo, a Syrian Arab army unit seized control over Talit Halab to the west of the industrial city of Sheikh Najjar after having eliminated numbers of terrorists. Army units flattened tunnels and fortifications where terrorists holed up and discovered a bomb-making factory, Amos Depot 6, 120 mm mortar cannons and large amounts of weapons. Army units neutralized several explosive devices and destroyed a booby-trapped car that terrorists attempted to detonate near a military checkpoint. The army advanced in Al Ramusa and Al Ammaria neighborhoods in Aleppo province. The army units also confronted armed terrorist groups who tried to sneak toward Barakat al Arman and Al Hamidiya in Aleppo city, leaving the group's members killed and wounded. Russian Minister of Foreign Affairs Sergei Lavrov told his U.S. counterpart John Kerry that the reason behind the delay of the process of transporting chemical weapons materials out of Syria is the activities of the armed opposition in the country. The remark came during a phone conversation. RT website quoted a statement issued by the Russian Foreign Ministry as saying that Moscow depends on experts to solve any problems that may occur, adding that these experts should be in contact with the Syrian government as to cooperate on the issue of disposing of chemical weapons. Turkish Official statements published by Turkish media have indicated that Erdogan's government has supplied the terrorist groups in Syria with arms and ammunition estimated at 115,000 U.S. dollars. Dollars during the, first three, during the first three months of this year, in addition to about 53,000 in 2013. Reports have indicated, too, that mines, bombs, explosive devices and various kinds of ammunition have been sent to the terrorist groups in Syria.
The American newspaper Herald Tribune has published a report which indicated that Al-Qaeda and other Islamic factions have recruited Moroccan young men and others from Eastern African states to fight along the terrorist groups in Syria. The newspaper quoted diplomatic sources as saying that Al-Qaeda network was pursued and all of its members were detained, adding that this network recruited many Moroccan terrorists to fight in Syria. The newspaper concluded its report by saying that Al-Qaeda network trained terrorists on using weapons, explosives, and carrying out suicidal attacks, adding that it was the same network active in many Moroccan cities, forcing those recruited to sell their properties and blackmail them to head for Syria via the border. The American newspaper Herald Tribune has published a report which indicated that Al-Qaeda and other Islamic factions have recruited many Moroccan young men and others from Eastern African states to fight among the terrorist groups in Syria. The newspaper quoted diplomatic sources saying that Al-Qaeda network was pursued and all of its members were detained, adding that this network recruited many Moroccan terrorists to fight in Syria. The newspaper concluded its report by saying that Al-Qaeda network trained terrorists on using weapons, explosives and carrying out suicidal attacks, adding that it was the same network active in many Moroccan cities, forcing those recruited to sell their properties and blackmail them to head for Syria via the border. Damascus Countryside Command of Bath Vanguards has held the Children Festivity of Vanguards in El Nabik City in Damascus Countryside with the participation of official Bath Party and popular figures. The participants have asserted that serious children are young in age but very mature in their determination, perseverance and in shouldering responsibility, adding that this was clearly manifested through the artistic shows presented and by reciting poetry by those children within the activities of the festivity. With this, we conclude our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region, you can always view this bulletin again on syriaonline.sy. After the break, it's over to our latest business and economic news with Vani. God bless you and long live Syria.